Chinese eat dog in Jamaica. This is not telling you look man. Life. Watch me trying to find it. Dog them I eat. Nah, no. Yeah. Real life dog. This is in a Jamaica. This is not China. Yeah. Yeah. Taka taka. Gooda. Yeah? Gooda. Gooda. Oh, what is the money? Understand? Yeah. This is all trying to deal with dogs in Jamaica. You know what I mean? So people try to lock up on the dog. If you see them start missing, you know what I want. What if a dog I eat around here? You know what I mean? Live in a China, live in a Jamaica. Jamaica, live, live, live. So, um, first off, I want to start off with saying. All honor, glory, and praises is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakadash. It's all praises of the world calls God whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and peace and mercy to the hopeful leg preachers' word and truth and sincerity. On the brother Tazaba in the Great Millstone, Arizona camp, Lord will with another video to edify. And uh, I wanted to go in on this uh this video, and this is what happens with Jake. Get yeah, this is what Jake asked for. This is what Jake always looked for to be mingled among the fucking heathen. And this is what the heathen do. Oh, you're cooking up dog in a lamb where they ain't known for eating up dogs. This is what the heathen do. And this is why the Lord said it like this in Psalms 106. Let me get that. Psalms 106. Thirty-five. I'll start I started thirty-four. It says I started 33 because they provoked his spirit so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips, talking about Moses. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom Yahweh commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And, and they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. And that's exactly what happens. And this is this is this is how you see. Is here it is. You got Moab in the midst of, of of Jamaica. Supposed to be heavily Benjamin there, but you got Moab there doing Moabite things, doing heathenistic things, cooking up dogs, and it all stems from what us not finishing the job, because it says it right there in the thirty fourth. Fourth verse, they did not destroy the nation's curse around whom Yahweh commanded them. And what is that going back to? It goes back to the book Judges. You know, no, Deuteronomy 7. It goes back to the book of Deuteronomy 7. Start at 1. It says, When Yahweh thy power shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out uh, many uh, nations before thee, the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when Yahweh thy power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them, that thou shalt not make, uh, thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them, neither shalt thou make marriages with them, that thy daughter thou shalt not give unto their her, her unto his son, nor uh, his daughters shalt thou take unto thy sons. You see, the, the the commandment was to utterly destroy and waste these people. And why and, and because we hadn't now we're mingled among the heathen. All right? And our people are learning their ways. And this is just a show. This is how it always started. Yeah. Always some 
bird head Jake that idolized and envied the heathen, right? Let me see. This is uh going back in Samuel's first Samuel's eight and six. It says, but the thing dis displeased Samuel when they said, give us a king. All right, no, no, I'm going to start up. I'll start four. It says, then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel uh, unto Ramah and said unto him, behold, thou art old and thy sons walk not in, the, in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. And this is what Jake did. Always envious of the fucking heathen. And this is what the heathen was doing. When you, when you look at who you're being envious for. Dog eating. Alphabet nations. That freak off on children. And this is who Jake always wanted to be envious of. So now you're mingled among them. Learning their ways. And their kids are being brought up in this. Right, this is Ezekiel 23. Ezekiel 23 5. It says, And Alohaba played the harlot when she was mine, and she doted, right, on her lovers, on the Assyrians, her neighbors, right. And that's what's problem. Jake always dotes on what? The other nations. They lust after them. They want to be like them. They want to do the things they do. This is Judges, uh, Judges 2. And verse 3, it says, Wherefore, I also said, I will not drive them out from before the before you, but they shall be as thorns in the, in your sides, and their gods shall be a snare unto thee. And this is what happened when you don't obey the voice of the Lord, when you don't put out the inhabitants of the land, right? All right, but Jake, from the beginning, always wanted to mingle themselves among the heathen. Always wanted to learn their ways. And even now, you got the so-called nigger woman, I saw an interview with the so-called black woman sit there and say, um, sit there and she living in Atlanta, Israel, and they asked her, what, what has it been like for you growing up here? And instead of her telling the straight up truth, I mean, saying, yo, these, these devils are fucking racist. She said she wished she could have been exposed to the other nations around them. Ezekiel 39 and uh, 28, it says, then, then shall they know that I am Yahweh, their power, right? Because this is what we have to wait on. Because we were brought among the heathen, this is what we have to wait on. I'm going to start at 27. It says, when I brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' lands, and that's where we're at, mingled among the heathen, right? And am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Then shall they know that I am Yahweh their power, which caused them to be led into captivity among the, among the heathen. That's where we are. We're in captivity among the heathen, learning the heathen's ways. That's why you have Jake. I mean, really, they would have rebelled regardless. But this is why you have Jake always into every single thing. But what the Lord said is you're fucking mingled among the heathen. All right. Learning their ways. In captivity under them. And they're teaching you how to live. This is why they're changing what a man and woman is. And this is why you have what certain certain Jake in the world that'll support that way. Because they're learning those things. It says, but have gathered them. It says, uh, but I have gathered them unto, unto their own land. And have left none of them. And have left none of them anymore there. And that's what what's going to happen. The Lord is going to pull us away from the heathen and put us in our own spot. All right? And there we're going to serve the Lord. 
What did, what was the whole purpose of leaving leaving Egypt the entire time? It was what? Let my people go so that they can serve me. And that's what's gonna happen. The Lord is gonna put us in a position to where we can actually serve. We're not up, we're not even allowed or able to serve the Lord here. Our women are constantly inundated with images of fucking false senses of fucking love. Right? A lack of order, which the heathen promote a fucking lack of order. Even them Ishmaelites that 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 got they women in a state where they know how to shut the fuck up and sit down. Even them, there's a lack of fucking order over there, bro. It says, um, Ezekiel 37 and 21, it says, And say unto them, Thus say Yahweh power, Behold, I will make the children of Israel, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen. This is the solution to us being mingled among the heathen, to that thorn, that constant thorn in our side. Of them what? Beating us down, oppressing us, teaching us their bullshit ways, causing us to go off in the Lord. It says, um, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they have go whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be Shall and one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. You see, neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols. And where did they get those idols? All the gods of the nations are idols, right? They got them from the heathen, nor with their detestable things. Right, those wicked abominable foods, those sacrifices, the way you deal, nor with any of their transgressions, but I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people and I will be their power. And that's the solution. The Lord's got to take us from among these heathen and, and put us upright. Again, man, that's what we're waiting on. So Lord willing, this is Adifon, I'm going to say, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Kakadah, Shalom.